Welcome back, everybody, to Samuka 97's Search for the Four Switches. I finally did find the secret exit to this level. It's up here. Do you see it? Because I don't. I really think there should be, like, a better hint here. Because you can't see this keyhole until you spring up there. You could at least have, like, coins pointing up towards it, like, vaguely. But anyway, intoxicated house. Speed up the boo ring. Oh crap, guy. Sweet. No death for me. Looks like a P-switch area. I'm gonna take that shell. Ah. Can I double grab? Yes, I can, apparently. <laughs> I don't think I'd make that. Oop. Aw. Oh. There goes my shell. Oh. For a second I thought I had to run back. That would be me. Aries. Oh, do I have to do the... There we go. Get in! Damn it. <clears throat> uh, okay, I think this is where it was. Just be patient and not try to jump off the boo. Fishing boo. I must admit, there seems to be a sort of weird mix of difficulty in this hack. In the harder levels, there's no mushrooms or anything, and in the easier levels, there's tons of health up items. It's like sort of the opposite of the way it should be, it seems like. So this level wasn't really that hard, but there's not a single mushroom in it. It's a log level. supposed to be can't go to it seems like Boink. let's switch one out of four and that 
other level changed a little bit. That's weird. Oh, is there a secret exit in the intoxicated house? I'll find out later, I guess. For now, let's go to slide into my death. Crap. Some of these things where I have to be patient and stuff. Come on, get out of the way. I just wanted to say, it's been about four levels since I've even seen a mushroom, so I really think if you want to make it a hack where you don't need save states, you should put some mushrooms in some of the levels that aren't really easy. Cause like the easy levels had like four or five health items, and these trickier ones don't have a single one, or any one-ups or anything, so oh, uh, that's Great. It's a continuation of what I was saying earlier. Going back about six levels to pick up a couple health items doesn't seem like something I should be doing in like a normal difficulty Mario type hack. Part of it's probably just that I'm being impatient with the booze, but especially with that. Uh, fortress seems like the difficulty's erratic. Oh, great. Yeah, that's wonderful. Invisible coin blocks are a nice touch. Okay, go. Go, boo. Whoa! start recording when I get to the st Okay. I think this is where we need the spring. I like the sort of arrow pointing up towards it. Key switch. Oh yeah, there was one part to the right, wasn't there? Whoa. That's close. Move booze. Lovely. Okay, here we are. Whoa. Doo -doo -doo. Get this P switch. Wait, what did that say? Let me in. Is it at the start to reach the door? I guess I didn't need the spring, but whatever. Hmm. 
Now these levels aren't that ridiculous, but removing all the mushrooms and midway points isn't really a fun way to make a no save states hack difficult. I, I think I'll go back and edit the other stuff.